My name is Dr. Jocelyn Bond, and I'm the program coordinator for the Human Services Program. I'm also an assistant professor within that program and the assistant dean of the Distance Learning Program. Human services can be a fairly high crisis uh, field. You're dealing with people that are most usually in a vulnerable population. Being able to really understand that phenomenon as a practitioner, to understand the types of situations that you're going to encounter in the field, um, the various stressors and challenges and barriers that you're going to um, encounter as you're practicing, it's vital in being able to prepare students for those challenges once they are ready to go into the field themselves. Our instructor at Cardiff Community College, she understood the need for many of us to, to have to do an online program because we were people that were working. Um, we couldn't just like drop, or we had families, you know, we couldn't just drop us uh, uh, a career or whatever it was we were doing at the point working, you know, um, to be able to just go to college. So she brought in um, several online options and Lisa McCray was, was one of those. I've worked for Home Health for 22 years and I do work full time and I'm also a full time online student. Um, so it has been very difficult working full time plus going to school full time, but it being online really helps tremendously with with being able to accomplish the program. When you study human services at Lee's McRae, it, it doesn't just lead to one outcome. There are over 20 different career options that are available to our students once they graduate from Lee's McRae with a human services degree. It's gonna be a game changer for me because I've been hands-on um, with the nursing aspect of, of the where I work now, but what I'm looking to do is transition into case management um, and doing things like that on, I guess, more of the administrative side than what it would be for the hands-on side. So I'm looking forward to the, the change. Through the course of getting my degree, um, some teachers or instructors taught multiple classes, so you were more familiar with them. So I like that smaller, feeling like you weren't reaching out to somebody way far away, that they, they were always accessible. Um, of course, some of the students, you've seen the same names in the discussion boards, and I enjoyed those. I thought that brought us a little closer, it felt like classroom. It's very easy to interact with one another. Um, you're not just a student, you're an individual, I feel like, with the professors. And even with, um, I've made a lot of friends through our class, through our online discussions and things like that. There's been a lot of attention placed on the field of human services in recent years because of the pandemic. Um, and I think people are realizing the valued position that these professionals have in our communities. We're seeing a growth rate um, in, in the career force for human services upwards of 14%, and that's phenomenal. An average growth rate is about 4%, so 14% is huge. Uh, the United States is, is gonna see a boom in these types of careers and a real need for people who have a degree in human services. I just wanna tell people that I know, especially online might seem overwhelming, but it can be done. And if you have a question, all you have to do is send an email. There's not been one time that any of my instructors has not returned a, a, an answer back to me within 24 hours. Use a calendar, like um, whatever works for you to keep you organized, but it can be done and it's worth it.